Hi, I'm Dylan Beatty. This is my workshop about distributed systems with .NET. So the simplest software architecture is you run all your code on one computer, and if it isn't fast enough, you buy a bigger computer. It's called scaling up, and it does actually work up to a point. But if you're building something like a web app that has to handle thousands of requests per minute, the only way to get the performance you need is to break your application down into components that can run on multiple computers. That's a distributed system. It's a set of components and services running on separate hardware communicating over the network. So microservices is a very popular pattern for building distributed systems, but it's not the only one. The real advantage of microservices is deployment. You can deploy a change to one of your services without having to worry about the others. That's something a lot of organizations find useful, and so it's a very popular pattern, but it's not the only one. You can build a perfectly good distributed system without using microservices. They're all patterns and protocols that your components can use to communicate across the network. Some are built for speed, some are built for resilience, some are designed to make it easy for other people to plug their own software into your applications. In this workshop, you'll learn what they are, how they work with .NET, and you'll learn when and why you'd consider using them. Ideally, you got some experience building apps with c -sharp and .NET, but there's stuff here even experienced .NET developers probably haven't seen, so we'll go through everything gradually, step by step. In the meantime, take it easy. Thanks for listening. I'll see you on the internet.